Hey guys, welcome to Node Tutorial. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to upload a file through S3 bucket and also how to fetch the file from S3 bucket and display into the web page. Okay. So, so first step will be uploading the file to S3 bucket. So this is step one and step two fetching the file from S3. Okay. <coughs> So let me show you the configuration to upload a file. So this is the local file name where I have given the file name or a file path where I have stored the file here which I am trying to upload into S3 bucket. Okay. So this is the file. I will just open it and these are the strings or a content I am going to upload. And these are the configuration which I already done. This is my AWS configuration access key and secret access key. So these are the other configurations that I already showed you. So this is the bucket name node red file. So you can see here in S3 bucket. So let me refresh whether any file is present or no. So bucket is empty right now. There is no any file. So this flows basically like uploading a file or getting the file from S3 bucket and displaying to web page. So this is a configuration of getting a file from S3. So I give on the name fetch data from S3 bucket. So this is a JavaScript function. This is the Markdown node where it converts normal string into HTML format and send it to HTML page. Let me give this name convert string to HTML format to this node. HTTP response node where you we'll get the response in a browser. <coughs> Let's deploy this. So let's trigger for the first step to upload a file. So I triggered and you can see that there is uploading. If you see, go to S3 bucket, refresh it. And you can see that uh, file has been uploaded in this bucket, okay, with the name markdown string, okay. Now this is the same file which has been uploaded. So this was the first step. So let me show you the second step. Let me copy this path. Let me go to that path and click on enter. So you can see that the data has been fetched from S3 bucket. These are some HTML content which is fetched from S3 bucket and displaying in web page. So you can see in the log also the content has been fetched and displaying in debugger console if we can see that file so this is the content which you are seeing in the debugger console
so this was a small demo on how to upload a file to s3 and fetch it to html page i hope you understood this flow and please check out my other videos and kindly do subscribe like share and comment your thoughts if you have any queries please comment down below thank you guys